algae that could be toxic to your pet. And pleasant weather tonight, but this week brings a threat of severe storms and a late season cold snap. Your first warning forecast is coming up. Well, Austin, Travis County EMS is already short on staff and now two of their medics needed rescuing after this. Take a look at this picture showing the aftermath after an accused drunk driver hit an ambulance this weekend, sending two medics to the hospital. Thanks for joining us tonight at 10. I'm Daniel Marine and I'm Jennifer Sanders. Austin, Travis County EMS says one of the injured medics still can't work. And tonight the agency has a message for anyone thinking about drinking and driving this week during South by KXN's Brianna Hollis joins us live from Riverside and Congress where this crash happened early yesterday morning. Bri, what led up to this? So one of the division chiefs says the ambulance was here near this gas station with its lights on and there were actually two medics inside with a patient when someone hit them. They were suddenly struck violently from behind by a full size pickup truck. Division Chief Eric Jakubowskis says this happened as his staff responded to a medical emergency around 3.30 Sunday morning at this intersection. But nobody would expect it on a medical call on the side of just a city street that somebody would go ahead and slam into them. He now has a strong message about drunk driving as South by Southwest continues this week. Especially during the spring festival season, it's important right now to understand that there's so many ways that you can get home. We don't want people to be out there and not enjoy themselves and not party and have fun, but there's so many other ways to get home. There's ride share, there's taxis, there's call a friend. You should do that regardless if there is or isn't people in town. You know, it's like just common sense, just use an Uber. This message also applies to electric scooters, which Lime says more than double in use during South By. Don't drink and ride and park appropriately. Chief Jakubowskis says the ambulance might be totaled and it's one of the agency's newest trucks. ATC EMS will still have downtown fully staffed for South by, but EMS is one of the professions out there right now that's hurting for personnel in it, but our department's doing aggressive recruiting and aggressive staffing. But unfortunately, anytime we have a provider that's a cleared provider on the streets and now they can't be on the ambulance, that hurts us. Now, APD runs its no refusal initiative every year during South by Southwest to crack down on drunk driving during this time period. Last year, police arrested 166 people for DWI related offenses. Jen, Daniel. All right, Bree, thanks so much. The roadblocks we see this time of year in Austin is because of what happened nine years ago. Four people were killed and 20 others injured when a man drove his car through a barrier into a crowd of people during South by Southwest. Now, he was trying to avoid being pulled over by police. Back in November 2015, a Travis County jury found Rashad Owens guilty of capital murder. After that tragedy, the city of Austin implemented a number of safety changes, including augmenting the number and type of road barricades. Police cars are used to block closed streets and protect emergency vehicle lanes and venue owners must now submit a safety plan to protect festival goers both inside their event and for those lining up on the sidewalk. All right, let's get you a live